Hi, this is Anil from Learning Lad with a video tutorial on C++ programming. So in this tutorial, we're gonna learn something more about the namespaces in C++. So in our last tutorial, you know, we have learned what is a namespace and what is the need of using a namespace. So here in this tutorial, we're gonna learn some more information on the namespaces. So let's begin. The first thing that I want you guys to teach you is you guys can declare or define as many namespaces you want in a file. So in this main.cpp, I can uh, define a namespace, for example, one, and similarly, you know, I can define another namespace, for example, two, in one file. So here, you know, I can have, let's say a variable, let's call it as i, and uh, here we're gonna have a variable, and let's call it as j. So these two variables which are defined inside this namespaces are you know not directly available you know outside this namespace just to demonstrate that I try to uh, refer to that i equal to 10 and j equal to 20 c out i j and line all right now you know if you try to run this program we're gonna get the error so i'm gonna save this i'm gonna build and run this you know error and if i open up the log this says i was not declared in this scope and uh, you know here you know j was not declared in this scope that's because you know these two um, identifiers or the variables are defined inside this declarative region you know and the namespace is one and two the next thing is you know if you guys want to access them you guys to access them using the namespace so it's going to be one scope resolution operator and then here you know we can use uh, uh, two scope resolution operator uh, or you know we can use the using keyword you know using okay using namespace one and uh, you know using namespace 2 now you know if I build and run this we're not gonna get any error you know we get 10 and 20 all right the next thing that I want you guys to teach you is you can define a namespace more than once in your program so you know I can uh, copy this and I can paste it here you know let me remove this namespace 2 and you know here you know we are defining namespace 1 two times you know we can define this namespace as many times we want so what is the use of this this allows us to group multiple files under the same namespace for example you know if you are building a very large project and you are divided your work for example you know you are specifically coding for the user interface at that time you know you can create a namespace for the user interface and you know you can uh, you know write all the classes and functions inside that namespace so you know here you know just to demonstrate this just gonna create the variable from this uh, one and i equal to 21 j equal to 21 you know any value then you know i can use the using also using namespace um, one and then you know i can use c out i j that's it just gonna build around this okay we have the same name here you know that's why we're getting error should change that one to j and if i build around this you know we get 20 and 21 so here you know if we have the same variable you know what happens is you know we are declaring the same variable again and again in the same namespace and that's why we're getting the error all right the next thing that i want you guys to teach you is we can nest the namespaces so here uh, i can nest another namespace inside this namespace one so here you know i'm going to use namespace and then uh, we just need to give a name let's say two and you know we're just gonna define or declare a variable let's call it as j and uh, here you know when we have this nested namespace you now we can't access this namespace 2 directly in our program so if i try to do you know try 
2 and uh, j equal to 10 you know we're gonna get the error you know if I build and run error and if I open up the logs it says 2 has not been declared this 2 is defined inside this namespace 1 so if you want to access this namespace 2 you need to access that by using 1 then the scope resolution operator and then 2 then the scope resolution operator and then the identifier so now if I build and run you know the program runs you know we haven't used any CL statement here so you know when we have the nested namespace at that time you know we need to refer that from the outer namespace alright guys this is about some more information on the namespaces you know we can define one namespace as many times as we want and also in one file we can have multiple namespaces and also we can nest the namespaces so this is it guys thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next tutorial